Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 784 of Fallout 4. Last episode decided to kind of start gritting out Nuka World for better or for worse. That is what we were doing. We hit up North Point Reservoir only to find that invisible walls here are a little bit much and like uh, just from this point north, the entire area is inaccessible. I couldn't even cross the actual dam itself right here, across like the road. It was all invisible wall. That's kind of annoying. We're right next to Brad Burton, and I, I kind of want to go back to it, but it's also not really within the grid. You know, I think I might go to Brad Burton. We hit up a little bit of Brad Burton last episode, too. I also made the Quantum, the, the, the Thirst Zapper Quantum Gun mod, and I made the ammo for it. It does 1,006 damage. It's pretty insane. I only have two shots for it. It requires quantum, it requires gold, requires fiberglass, I think. And well, the mod was fiberglass, but I think it was acid. Uh, it, it requires a lot. And I've only got two shots. Now, if I go back to the Commonwealth, I'll probably be able to get quite a few more, considering all the things I've hoarded. But uh, we're, we're, we're in Nuka World right now, and we're going to do a little bit of exploring today. I think that's kind of the plan. Yeah, let's go back and hit up Brad Burton. They got a whole bunch of Meyer Lurks, and in fact, there's some there's some Meyer Lurk eggs. Well, let's squish let's squish some evil Meyer Lurk babies. Hey. Talk to me. I want you to go over here. Go there. I want you to go over there. Talk to me. I want you to go actually go there. Go, go really far away. But I hope you guys are enjoying the Fallout videos. I very much appreciate those of you who take the time to like the videos, and I thank you guys for that support. Watch, watch as I squish the babies. Squish the evil babies. See, I squish the evil babies. Sorry, Meyer Lurk hatchling. I was kind of hoping for a third one there, but we didn't have one spawn. That was kind of weird. Wait a minute. I mean, those guys never spawned in. I walked by this kind of hoping they'd spawn, but... Okay, we get to squish more evil babies today. I need more AP. Hold on. Little, little ankle biters are getting me. Squish them! Get them! And there goes the little ankle biters. Sorry, little ankle biters. You, at least you taste good. <laughs> Mylurk omelets, anyone? Mylurk omelets incoming. But yeah, let's just explore Brad Burton. If there's ever an important place, I think in Nuka World, I, I think the Brad Burton place would probably have some sort of significance, considering, you know, Brad Burton and all. Uh, story, lore, immersion, immersion. I'm also really surprised there's just nobody trying to kill us. Nothing here. Yes, yeah, some Mylurk babies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, there we go. Kind of detected. Sure, some Mylurk babies, but there really hasn't been much of anything trying to off me since I've been here. Why isn't anything trying to get me off? Discovered Brad Burton? No, no, I already knew Brad Burton was here. We were told with a map. Is that a door that I can go into? That is probably a door that I can go into. Usually colored doors mean you can go in them. Like the, like the really nasty looking doors, just like the plain doors, the ones you can't go into. What do you got? What do you got? Some wine bottles? Some pencils? You just taking some notes? Just... Hmm, yes. Hmm, yes. Nuka World. Mm. The giant anaconda snake. Mm, mm, wine. Hmm, yes. <laughs> just sitting there being that kind of guy? I can see that. There is something... Something? Oh, what it is. Something detected us kind of in this area. I figured this would be like a church or something that I could go into. Doesn't appear to be the case. Can I get on the roof with the AP that I've got? Shouldn't be a problem. Absolutely not a problem. Anything up here, however? No? A texture glitch? That that looks like, like a slight oversight, as if they never expected you to kind of get up here, texture glitch. Yeah. They got lazy when they made Nuka World. I can tell. <laughs> I can tell. Some, some clipping issues, you know. T typical stuff. I want to get up high here and look down and see if I can see some things. Some enemies. Come on, AP. Do your thing. No, no, land on the pokey stick. I will land on the pokey stick and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Okay, I'm on the pokey stick. Anybody in Brad Burton? Anything in Brad Burton? Because whatever it's detecting me it must be underground then at that point or behind a corner. I don't really see Jack Diddley. I don't really see Jack Diddley. Okay then. Well, Jack Diddley, I'm coming for you. I thought there might have been something over there for a second, but... Incoming! Dog me, I'm just glad you weren't underneath me, because you probably would be feeling that in the morning. He'd be a doggo pancake! Yeah. Oh, you hear that? I see, I see those. 
a radio somewhere, but bye ghouls. Bye ghouls. Oh wait, what level were you? I should have looked. I should have quantum quantumed. Quantumed? Yes, we're gonna call it quantum. I should have quantumed him. Boop! I hear another ghoul. Is he punching dog meat? Oh, they're punching dog meat. Do you, I don't know if you hear that. Get him, dog meat. I got your back, dog meat. I wouldn't let him do that to you. That's not very nice. Here, I'll even punish him with a bloody mess. Got him. Got your back, doggo. Um, and then I just proceeded to squish him. <laughs> I'm sorry, dog meat. I didn't mean it. I'll take that. This place is riddled with ghouls, then? Ooh, he's, he's attacking another one. They're just flying out of nowhere. He's trying to bite your cankles. Run, dog meat. Everything today is trying to bite your cankles, dude. First the Mylarks, now they, now they got ghouls. Where's he at? I hear him. I hear him. He's close. He's detecting us. He knows. Oh, what level you were? Hey, I see you. What level are you? 144. Okay, it's not even point in testing it on you. It says that this gun will kill you. The quantum gun would, <laughs> would definitely kill you. There's another one. Oh, right in the kneecap. Yeah, I used to be an adventurer. And I took a 762 round of the kneecap and just it blew it to pieces. What's behind this? Don't get stuck, don't get stuck, don't get stuck. Oh god, don't get sucked in there and get glitched. Alright, we're good. I see more ghouls. Dog meat, don't run in front of me when I'm shooting. Okay, that guy's like invincible. Now get out of here. Oh, like, this guy's invincible. Um, hello? Your outposts have sent caps to Nuka World. Okay, that's good. Okay, can I shoot you now? Hello? 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 Kodichiwa? Oh, apparently that was what it took to aggro him. Apparently the AoE squishy thingy is what it took to aggro that man. Well, that was weird. Ugh. That's up. Talk to me. Excuse me. Yeah, there's a shitload of ghouls here. Nice try. <laughs> he ran at me. <laughs> He ran at me, and then I shot him, and a bloody mess that blew to pieces, and all his chunks flew into me. Now, that's pretty morbid. Sit down. What's with all the ghouls? What's with all the ghouls, man? Where are all the pioples? I mean, nobody came to Brad Burton in all this time. A, a place literally named after the guy who the, the little quantum nonsense, like nobody. Nope, nobody. Alright, I'm just trying to get all the enemies out of here, then I'll start, like, really focusing on exploring. Hey, look, see, you tried. Rachel tried. Now, who's Rachel? Rachel's holotape. Let's learn about Rachel, you guys. I think this is it. I can't go any further. I can feel it taking me. Rachel was Oswald's waifu. You remember that? And we, he's like, I want to go look for Rachel. And we told him, you know, just go get out of here. Go look for other things instead of spending your life. I saw those guys in there. Instead of spending your life just chilling here in Kitty Kingdom. But, uh, turns out she was like two feet away from him. Man, you guys are stupid. She didn't, she didn't exactly make it very far. She set out to go find a cure. She got like two feet away and died. <laughs> I thought not everybody, I didn't think it was everybody, just because you were a ghoul, you turned feral. I thought like there were certain things and stuff that would happen, just like, you, 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 you can be a ghoul, 
and not always be guaranteed to be feral. Uh, I don't know. I really don't know like everything there is to know about it, but yeah, you know, like she mentioned, he didn't turn feral. But interesting to see that she was turning feral. I'm trying to blow his arm off. I'm trying to blow. Hold still. I'm trying to pull your arm off. Eh, I killed him. There's another one here. I can hear him. There, oh, what the hell? Are you? Why are you at? Where did you guys come from? Oh, there, that guy lost his arm. I'm all the way over here, and they aggro it up there. Hey, what's with all the ghouls, man? What's with all the ghouls? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Like, so, like, why did she start turning feral? Interesting. Well, now that we have this knowledge, I wonder. I wonder if he could have gone to... I wonder what would have happened if he would have gone up here to Bradburn first, and then talked to Oswald. Look at him, dog meat. You know, I wonder what would happen if you broke the news to Oswald that she was dead. Like, would he freak out? Fuck me, just bite them and hold them down like you normally do. Fuck me, it's not hard. Dog me, you used to be so good at holding enemies down, but not anymore. But like, yeah, like, what would happen? You just tell Oswald, hey, uh, I hate to break it to you, but, but your waifu's dead, bro. Like, no! I've been holding out in a place called Kitty Kingdom for this long for nothing? Re! Mm, don't know. And yeah, I still know there's a safe back there at the Nuka World place. That, or the, the Red Rocket. I don't remember if I looted it, but I do remember seeing it. It's not like the loot's gonna go anywhere, but uh, I'm sure somebody's screaming, You forgot to loot the safe! Hey, I know. I'll get that safe eventually. Well, yeah, that poses some interesting questions. Don't know. I decided to do that quest first. Had I not decided to do the quest, that's creepy. Had I not decided to do the quest like I normally do, I would have seen that later. I love how these houses always have this invisible wall here. Can I go through it? Just out of curiosity. There's always this really weird invisible wall, and it's not like I can't fly on the roof and come down here. But there's a staircase that always has this bounding box that refuses, even with a jetpack, to let you go up it. It's like the strangest thing ever. I've seen this. This is this is near um. Oh, what's that first city? I don't remember, Lauren, you find Preston. Um, I forget the name, but uh, there's a monkey dude in here, which is always creepy. And there's there's like this whole mannequin business, and somebody, I guess, blew their brains out. That's, that's kind of cool. Um, no. <laughs> I don't like you. No. Stop it, monkey man. I'll take those glasses. I'll take that fedora. I'll take all this stuff. This is all mine now. Hey, at least I have a fancy double bed. And slam the beds together, baby. Let's go. Hey, excuse me, doggo. I think we're good to go. I'm not exactly methodically gritting this out, but I was initially trying to clear all the stuff here. Level 145, excellent. There just seems to be so many enemies here. 45, man, we are leveling up, dude. We have so many levels. Holy crap. 145 freaking levels. I've been playing this game too long. And I'm not even, like, trying to power level. Prepare for explosions. I expected bigger. That's what she said. Alright, um... So I've looted this building. And I've looted the one up there, to the east. I didn't really loot this side. This seems to be the less packed side of the the, the, the village first, or the town first. I'm gonna hit up this side before I go up north. Most of these buildings are inaccessible. One down here that could be looted. That one has a door on it. Okay, so I'll be hitting that up here in a second. There's just a shitload of ghouls to kill. There's just a shitload of enemies to put down. Alright. What's with, like, the seeming fog in here? You see that? What's with, uh... What's with that fog? That's kind of creepy. It's kind of cool. Noodle cup, alright! Life's complete! Noodle cup, yeah! Dog meat, you want to share some noodles with me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, just stuff a rib cage in a filing cabinet. No one will ever know. No one will ever suspect it. That's all good. That's all good. See, now, like, I wonder, because we told Oswald to go... I, I think we told him to leave Nuka World or, like, to go to the Commonwealth or something. We told him, like, go search the world, look for information, go find Rachel, go look for her. Like, I wonder if I can ever encounter him again or if he's just an NPC that's forever gone. Because it was so cool to find him again. It's as morbid and twisted and mean... Obviously. Or really, I guess at least sad as it would be to find him and give him, break the yes. news to him. I, m maybe he'd be better off knowing than spending his entire life, you know, searching. But, like, it's, it's, there's no closure in that quest line. It's like, hey, she's dead. 
but I told him to go out and look places. <laughs> so now that we've acquired this extra information, um, sorry, Oswald. I want another rad storm kick in. It's getting awfully green out here. It's getting awfully green out here. It's getting awfully green. Out. I'm, I'm about to turn into a ghoul. I'm gonna start sounding like Marge Simpson. Yeah, all, all the all the female ghouls in this game, I don't know what it is, but they all sound like Marge Simpson. God damn it, Jingles the Moon Monkey. It's a trap, isn't it? It is. That was a burnt book. Now one of my finer moments, but I'll take it. Jangles, mine now. Ooh, Chinese Ossifer Sword. What? Were those like stacked on the Ossifer Sword or was I just not looking? Because three stim packs just rained from the sky. Must have been. Airplane seat. Well, I can't do anything with that. <laughs> can't scrap that, unfortunately. I'd be kind of kind of cool. Nothing up here. Okay. That was a very short lived. Um, okay. That was a rad storm. That was a big old rad storm. Just random operators. You guys are the ones that nuke. Uh, I keep saying I keep wanting to say nuke world, but the you're at the one, you're at Red Rocket. It's nuke world Red Rocket or something like that. But I just want to call it Red Rocket. No point in calling it that really stupid lengthy name. But uh, yeah, not, neither of these buildings are accessible, so I think I've looted around them good enough for now. Let's check the one with the red door here. Hello, water tower. You got anything at your base? The other water tower by Sanctuary had stuff near it. What you got? can't really see anything in here. It's kind of messy. It's kind of cluttered. OCD, kicking in. I so want to go back there and then turn the workshop timer off and come over here and just see if it'll let me scrap stuff. <laughs> just to see how much trouble I could get into with the whole scrapping mechanic. Clean that clean that water tower out yet. Get a lot of brain fungus. It's been a while since I've seen a lot of brain fungus. That's, that's a material that I feel like I got a lot more early game than as I progressed it became less and less common. Just, brain fungus used to be everywhere. Or at least it felt like it was everywhere. Laundered, I'm trying to pick it up. Laundered rose dress, mine now. Why can't I take the mannequin's clothes? Why can't I take the mannequin's clothes, huh? I can take all the, I can take the animatronic thing needs clothes, but I can't take the mannequin's clothes? Freaking mannequins, man. Creepy as shit, dude. Did I just get detected? I did. That could be the operators, though. Considering how slight, how ever so slightly I was. Lady, you don't need these cups. Give these give these to me. You're dead. Ugh. 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 It's a lot of blood. Well, let's say. Cash register. I thought I said something else for a second. It's a red one. It's like a Nuka Cola version of a cash register. I'm like, what's, what's this? Mine now. So that one was locked, but this one wasn't? All right. Hey, quantum. Good. All the. I'm so glad I didn't use all the quantum that I had. A little Nuka gift shop. Cool. I am so glad I did not use all of the quantum that I have acquired through my adventures so far. Gosh. Because getting that much quantum to be able to produce enough ammunition to make that gun, like, even semi-regular. The nice thing is, it's a heavy-hitting gun, and it's lightweight. Same can't be said about the missile launcher, the, the, uh, the fat man, like, any of that stuff. That's super heavy, and the ammo is super heavy. Like, that's so convenient considering the damage and stuff that it does for the weight ratio. It's pretty nifty. But, uh, yeah, I'll be able to produce quite a bit of stuff using that. I like that. I like that a lot. Let's see if we can get some reading done here. Novice. It's probably just linked up to that safe, to be honest with you. Sick. No. So sick and slow. That's a no-no. Sunk, no. Nine. Could not be nine because of that. Zone. Could be zone. It is not the zone. Foe? Foes? There we go. Foesy. All sales are final. Absolutely no refunds. New products. I just finished displaying the two new or two new products along with signage. Please push these new products as often as you can. There will be a bonus five dollar gift card to whoever sells the most. Cappy ashtray. Ugh. An ashtray for twenty and thirty dollars respectively. Oh, thank God I am a smoker. Cappy's candy cigarettes. Okay, that's weird. Five five dollar. Note, Nuka-Cola Corporation has not responded to my request to verify if the rumor of actual nicotine is present in their candy cigarettes is true or not. Please do not call attention to this while speaking with the customers. Wow. Discount reminders. Little Nuka Gift Shop offers the following deal with discounts and sales. Employees are responsible for being familiar with these offers. Off-site parking. Joe Johnson has graciously allowed us to use a couple of acres of his land for off-site parking. Parking is $15 an hour for the following notes. 
uh, with the following notes. Grass lot parking only. Not responsible for damage, lost, or stolen vehicles and or goods. 24-hour towing is available should cars become stuck. Only a 10-minute walk to the bus stop. Buses arrive every 15 minutes. Joe has also suggested that bug repellent be advised. Discount tickets. We have park tickets available at a discount price for paying customers. Buy $50 of merchandise and we're authorized to sell tickets for 10% off. We do not take used Nuka-Cola bottles. Should a customer prefer to receive the, the advertised $15 off, they must purchase their tickets at the Nuka World Gates. There's always that roundabout bullshit. Family discounts for families of 5 plus may receive a 12% discount with a purchase of $100 or more. Senior citizens discount is 5%. Veteran and active military discount is 10%. Children ages 2 and younger do not require a ticket. General sales. The following sales are, uh, are ongoing throughout the year. T-shirts are buy five, get one free. Visors are buy one, get one half off. Customers receive 5% off batteries with the purchase of any product that requires them. Memo, read me. We recently had an incident where an employee swapped out Nuka-Cola branded items for off-brand knockoffs. This is absolutely not allowed. We operate with the approval of Nuka-Cola Corporation, so any cheap knockoff quality products are not tolerated and result in immediate termination. How to tell if an item is off-brand? Names may be spelled wrong or a variant is used. Cappy, Nuki World, or Nuki World, said a Nuka World, Nuki World, or Nuke World, rather. I feel like they're going for the word Nuki, though, but whatever. The official Nuka-Cola logo is absent from the product. Some exceptions may be made, so please see management when in doubt. Leland. And that would be it. I also feel like, for some reason, well, just listen. You hear that? It's not a silence. But uh, I feel like in some spots in Nuka World, it's just eerily quiet. It's been like that for a while. I kicked something here? I heard something ting, but I don't see it. Oop. There's a souvenir cup there somewhere. I keep hearing it, but like I don't see the, the, the texture for Heads it. Up. Uh, I saw it right there. Grab that. It's in like the pile of garbage. I wouldn't let me pick it up. Got it. Got it. Man, it's like eerily quiet. What the absolute hell, dude? Okay, well, here's where the, um, the messed up ghouls were, and I had killed them already. I've gone through that house. That's where Marge Simpson was, a.k.a. Rachel. Rachel! You're tearing us apart! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> hey, going fungus. Anybody up here? Anybody up here? Now let's check this house. It's got an American flag out front. How, how bad can it be? That's, that's pretty inviting. I uh, I don't know if I can get in that house, though. And we are detected. We are absolutely detected. How much do you want to bet? It's a ghoul. There's probably a ghoul in here. Does he sound like Marge Simpson, or does she sound like Marge Simpson? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. I, I don't know what it is. I can never unhear it. All, most, all female ghouls, or at the very least, that voice actor. Sounds like Marge Simpson. It's the weirdest thing to me. Ooh, we can get in there. The door's chained. Ooh, okay. Now, the front door didn't look accessible, but let's check it. That's a power armor repair station right there. That is an X-01 power armor suit. Morton Residence. Ah. Oh, well, it feels bad that I don't have a companion who can carry that or the other frame. I mean, there's, there's a, at least there's the red rocket place right there. That's a viable settlement. We can store stuff. Ah, yeah, look at that X-01. Can I shoot the chain from here? Like, you know, back in the day, you used to be able to throw a grenade to break the chain to get into places. They patched that a while ago. What's the intended way in there, then? Because, honestly, other than, like, jumping into it, I'm not seeing one. I mean, like, both of those are walled off. So how do they intend you to get on in there? Is there, like, something you have to do at some other point to get in? I see a power line, but... What's that got to do with, like, see that power right there? What's that got to do with a chain door? Not exactly like I'm hurting for X-01 power armor pieces. However, it is always nice to have that... I see the door. Like, there's, there's, a, there's a door there, but I don't know if that's even... Accessible. I'm going to, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna cheat, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna touch the loot. I just want to see something. Yeah, that door's walled off. So like, how do they expect you to get in there? Sure, there's a chain here, but like, I can't shoot it. Aha! Ground entrance. You see that? <laughs> Aha! 
All right, well, let's, let's see if there's a legitimate way to get into that. I just want to take a peek. Hee <laughs> hee. Let's see how that all hooks up. I'm guessing maybe underneath that retaining wall or something like that. There might be something there. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. But what was detecting me? It must be something in that building then. And that would mean it's probably not an instance. Hmm. We can't get in there from the silo, can we? That'd be kind of weird, but I'll, I'll check. I shall check. However, dudes, it is getting to be that point where it's time to wrap it up here. Episode 784 of Fallout 4. Episode 800 is fast approaching. I want you just to stop and think about that. I've been playing this game since November 2015 when the game came out. Holy Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's been a while. It has been a while indeed. That's an episode a day, every day, for too many years, man. Holy shit. Crazy. It's just crazy to stop and think about. Now, I don't know where this entrance is, and when a man can't find the entrance, then you got yourself a problem. I don't see anything at the bottom of that retaining wall. Must be something else. Must be, uh, there's something, obviously, that loops around. There, there's, oh, maybe right here, like a sewer. I was going to say, there's some connectivity somewhere. That much is obvious. Is, is this it right here? This is looking like it. Hey, There's like a key or something down there. It could be quantum, but it could also be like a key. Kind of looks like quantum. and I can see a dead dude. However, dudes, it is time to wrap it up here again. Episode 784. Thank you guys all for watching. And I'll see you next time.